What's up everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can make a stunning website using the free version of ChatGPT even if you have zero coding experience. You heard that right, you don't need any coding experience to make this website. Be sure to like the video if you find it useful and without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create a folder on your desktop. This folder will be where you save all the files for your website. Now, let's talk about the images that you want to use for your website. You can create your own, but I suggest that you use text to image generators like Midjourney and Dali to get the perfect images that fit whatever you want your website to look like. Once you have your images, make sure to name them in order. This will make things easier for you later on. Next, you'll need a text editor. I'll be using Visual Studio Code, but you can use any text editor that you're comfortable with. Open your folder in your text editor and let's move on to the font part. This is where we'll bring ChatGPT to the picture. First, prompt it to act as a front-end developer who is skilled in HTML and CSS. Next up, this is the prompt that I used. Help create an attractive website for cute ice cream and online ice cream store. The design should feature PNG images named 1 through 8, which are in the same directory as the website's code. Use HTML and CSS to build a website and incorporate bootstrap elements to improve its appearance and usability. A pink color palette should be used as the main theme. Output segments at a time. I want one HTML file and one CSS file. Output everything as code with no oversight. I know the code might seem a little bit complex, but one thing I've learned after using ChatGPT since it came out is the quality of your input greatly impacts the results that you get. So you need to be very specific and detailed in your prompts to get the best possible outcome. Once you have your code, copy and paste it into the two new files you'll create. The first one is index.html and the second one is style.css. Save your files once you've copied all the code from GPT and press F5 from your index.html page to see how your website looks like. It is important to note that the output may look different each time you use ChatGPT, so don't be afraid to start over if you're not happy with your results. With a little tweaking and customization, you'll have a stunning website that looks like it was created by a professional developer. If you found this video useful, drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome content. And while you're at it, check out my video on six game-changing AI systems of 2023. Until the next one, I'm out. Cheers.